Okay, hello everybody and welcome to the Market Smith webinar. Today we are going to keep it very basic here and we are going to go over the Market Smith iPhone app. A quick introduction. My name is Arusha Pierce. I'm one of the coaches here at Market Smith. And a quick disclosure. I'll give you all a second to uh, take a look. Okay, so let's go over the agenda. So we're once again, we're going to keep it very basic here. We're going to go over how to download the MarketSmith app, how to sign into it, and then finally how to use the MarketSmith app. So let's start off with how to download the MarketSmith app. So now when you're on your iPhone, what you want to do is click on the App Store. Okay, so you'll see this little logo here. Just click on it, and it's going to open up the App Store, and you will see a little storefront like this. Now what you want to do is look at the very bottom and you're going to see a little search icon. So just click on search and then tap at the very top in the search section right there. And the keyboard's going to open and then you'll be able to type in MarketSmith. Okay, so once you type in MarketSmith, you're going to see some results. Just select the one that says MarketSmith Stock Research. That's probably the easiest way. And then when you see the results, click on the one with the MarketSmith logo. Now I have open here. Uh, but uh, it will probably say install or get something like that and all you have to do is just click on it and it's going to start installing on your phone now once it's installed on your phone you will start seeing it on your little uh, your little screen there uh, a market smith icon okay so you'll see the market smith app appear there and all you have to do after that is just tap on it so now let's talk about how to sign into it so just tap on the app and then you're going to see the MarketSmith screen open up. Now, if you're a subscriber or a trialist, just click on the sign in button. If you want to take a trial, you'll see the button right there. But since we're assuming here that you're all uh, subscribers or trialists, let's click on the sign in button and you'll get this next screen. Then enter in the email address and password that you've given us. And that's it. You're going to sign into the MarketSmith app. Now, the, with the iPhone app, it's going to start off with the indices page. Okay, so let's go over how to use this market, uh, the Marks with iPhone app. Uh, and we'll start off with the market section since it starts right there. And so it's in the lower left hand side. You'll see it highlighted. And all you have to do here, and you'll see we have four of the major indices uh, right here in this list. All you have to do is click on the chart and it's going to blow up and you'll see a, a fully expanded chart. Now, if you tap on the, the, the chart, you'll get more information. So if you tap and hold on the chart, you get more information for any of the, the price bars. So you have the track price feature in here too. And now if you also, the cool thing about the iPhone is that if you swipe from right to left, it'll go to the next uh, chart on the list. So you, once again, you swipe right to left, and it's going to go to the next chart on the list. Okay, so that's how we were going to really use it. What's really cool is you can go through a lot of stocks in a short amount of time just through your phone. Okay, so with the, this iPhone app, you're going to be able to uh, do 90%, 95% of the work that you can do on the desktop app. Right, so a lot of times when I'm out and about, if I'm standing in line, I'll pull out my iPhone, and I'm looking at charts there. And it's amazing at how easy you can stay on top of the market when you're away from your desk, too. So let's go more into the, the charts. And so you just have to click on the button in the, the bottom here. And uh, you'll see a, a blown up chart. Now, if you want to change the, the name of the chart, uh, just tap on the symbol. OK, so we have the NASDAQ composite up right here. If you tap on it. You're going to get a screen like this, which will give you a little text box where you can start typing in a new symbol. OK, so if you type in FB for Facebook. You can select Facebook and then you'll see the chart of Facebook come up here. OK, so pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Once you do it a few times, you're going to have it down. Now to switch the periodicity. Just in the top right hand side, click on the daily and a little drop down menu will appear. And then just select the time frame. So if I hit the W, that would be the weekly. And then you'll start seeing that. If you want to get more info on the company, click on the I icon. Okay, in the top left hand side next to the name of the company, you'll see that little I right there. You just tap on it and then the whole screen's going to change and give you these options. 
So it's pretty cool. You can get the checklist here on the iPhone. You can get news, the fundamentals of the company, the industry and sector, and ownership. Let's start off with the checklist. The view is going to look like this, and it's going to be all the same checklist that you have on the desktop. So the ones that we created for you, or if you've even created some, you'll be able to run them right on the iPhone. Uh, to go back for any of these views, in the top left-hand side, there'll always be a black button. And so you'll be back on this uh, main page of the snapshot section. Now with the news, you click on news, you'll see the news on that stock. Fundamentals, you'll get all of that information. It's going to be very similar to the weekly chart. Now if you scroll up a little bit, you'll see even the quarterly earnings and sales. So it's pretty remarkable how much information you get right on this iPhone. It's well worth uh, using if you have an iPhone. Now the industry and sector, this is how the view looks here. What's cool about this section is you'll see a little chart icon. If you click on that, it will give a view of the industry group chart. And then finally, ownership. Click on ownership. Uh, you're going to get all these, uh, the percentages of the ownership of, of the funds that own the stock. You get the eight quarters so you can see the trend of the stock. So most of it is right there on that iPhone. Okay, so let's go into lists. So what's neat about the iPhone app is you can access your list, you can access the, the reports. So pretty much all of the stuff that's on the desktop you can access right here on the iPhone app. So if you click on it, this was this is the view that you're gonna see. And uh, so if you click on the My List folder, you're gonna get all of the lists that you've created. Uh, for screens, you get access to those too. Now the one thing is that's different between the, the mobile apps and the desktop is you can't create the screens on uh, the iPhone, but you can run them. Okay, so create them on the desktop and you can just always run them here. And so if you click on that little screen button, you'll see the basic folders right here. And uh, if we click on the Marcus Smith stock screens, these are the screens that we've created for you and put in this folder. You can run the up on volume screen right here. Okay, so a lot of times you can stay on top of the market just by running some of these screens and see what's moving and getting some good volume to that. Now, you can also uh, check your alerts and run your or set alerts right from your iPhone too. Okay, so the alerts icon is right in the lower right hand side. You'll see the little bell icon. You click on it and here are the alerts that have been triggered. So you can take a quick look there. If you wanna create an alert, click on the bell icon at the top right. And you'll get this little page here. And so you just type in the symbol, the price, and if you want to type a note, you can do that too. And then in the top right hand side, just click on set. Okay, and with that, after that, you, you've set an alert right from your phone. Now, uh, one last section here, the more section. Okay, so in the beginning when you've launched this app, what you generally want to do is go to this more section and uh, you're going to get all these basic kind of things, uh, settings for the iPhone app. Uh, you first want to start off by turning on the BATS real-time price data uh, because now you'll get the, the prices updating. So if your data plan is okay and all that stuff, you know, turn that on. And so you'll, you'll, you'll get the, the charts updating uh, in, in real time at that point. And uh, if you want to, uh, you have some options in this chart elements section. So click on chart elements and you can turn on your pattern recognition. You can display your alerts, your price alerts, or if you're drawing trend line alerts, you can display them right there. Annotations, too, you can display on, on your uh, iPhone app. Uh, now, if you want to set moving averages, you know, just click on the view that you want to set it on. So daily charts, uh, click on the daily chart lines, and then set them right here. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple, uh, but we want to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this iPhone app and get up and running because it's definitely a critical part these days of, of your routine. Uh, you can stay on top of the market pretty much anywhere with this iPhone app. So it's very, very cool, and I highly recommend using it if you have an iPhone, okay? So any other questions, just give us a call, 800-424-9033. Send us an email at reach us at marksmith.com, and uh, we're also available on the whole social networking scene, okay? So thank you, everyone, uh, for joining us, and please feel free. Uh, don't, don't hesitate. If you have questions, let us know, and we're happy to help. Thanks.